Melachim Rishon, 1 Kings 3. And Shalom Ah made affinity with Eth Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, and took Eth Pharaoh's daughter and brought her into the city of David until he had made an end of building his own house and the house of Yahuwah and the wall of Yerushalayim round about. Only the people sacrificed in high places because there was no house built unto the name of Yahuwah until those days. And Shalomah loved Eth Yahuwah, walking in the statutes of David his father. Only he sacrificed and burnt incense in high places. And the king went to Givan to sacrifice there. For that was the great high place. A thousand burnt offerings did Shalom ah offer upon that altar. In Givan, Yahuwah appeared to El Shalom ah in a dream by night. And Elohim said, Ask what I shall give you. And Shalom ah said, You have showed unto your servant David, my father, great mercy according as he walked before you in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with you. And you have kept for him eth this great kindness, that you have given him a son to sit on his throne, as it is this day. And now, O Yahuwah Elohai, you have made eth your servant king, instead of David, my father, and I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or come in, and your servant is in the midst of your people, which you have chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. Give therefore your servant an understanding heart to judge eth your people, that I may discern between good and bad, for though, rather, for who is able to judge eth this your so great a people? And the speech pleased Adonai, that Shalom Ah had asked eth this thing. And Elohim said unto him, because you have asked at this thing, and have not asked for yourself long life, neither have asked riches for yourself, nor have asked the life of your enemies, but have asked for yourself understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to your words. Lo, I have given you a wise and an understanding heart, so that there was none like you before you, neither after you shall any arise like unto you. And I have also given you that which you have not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto you all your days. And if you will walk in my ways to guard my statutes and my commandments, as your father David did walk, then I will lengthen at your days. And Shaloma awoke, rather awoke, and behold, it was a dream. And he came to Yerushalayim and stood before the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah and offered up burnt offerings and offered peace offerings and made a feast to all his servants. Then came there two women that were harlots unto the king, and stood before him. And the one woman said, O oh my Lord, I and this woman dwell in one house, and I was delivered of a child with her in the house. And it came to pass the third day, after that I was delivered, that this woman was delivered also, and we were together. 
There was no stranger with us in the house, save we two in the house. And this woman's child died in the night, because she overlaid it. And she arose at midnight, and took eth my son from beside me, while your handmaid slept, and laid it in her bosom, and laid eth her dead child in my bosom. And when I rose in the morning to give eth my child suck, behold, it was dead. But when I had considered it in the morning, behold, it was not my son, which I did bear. And the other woman said, Nay, but the living is my son, and the dead is your son. And this said, No, but the dead is your son, and the living is my son. Thus they spoke before the king. Then said the king, The one says, This is my son that lives, and your son is the dead. And the other says, Nay, but your son is the dead, and my son is the living. And the king said, Bring me a sword. And they brought a sword before the king. And the king said, Divide eth the living child in two, and give eth half the one, and eth half the other, rather, to the other. Then spoke the woman, whose the living child was, unto the king. For her heart yearned upon her son, and she said, O my lord, give her at the living child, and in no wise slay it. But the other said, Let it be neither mine nor yours, but divide it. Then the king answered and said, Give her at the living child, and in no wise slay it. She is the mother thereof. And all Yashadael heard eth of the judgment which the king had judged, and they feared the king. For they saw that the wisdom of Elohim was in him to do judgment.